that in the wire and then put it on. It's actually blue. Hey guys, how's Crab Patrol going? Pretty good? I'm making a paper mache dome because I want to explore what would happen if I left sections out or added sections in. And I was messing around with an avocado peel yesterday. And like, if I just put four of the eight sections together, I think it would make a really cool like bishop's hat kind of building. And these bend so nicely, like, I don't know, they, I think there's some cool shapes to be had. The first one I'm just going to make with, uh, you know, the whole sphere, I think. But, yeah, I think, I think there's some cool other shape buildings to be made with spherical parts. I might even be able to make a cool boat hull with it. That was number seven right there. I think, yeah. So, one more to make a full sphere. Well, half sphere, whatever. I'm going to do a bunch of those experiments with my paper mache thing instead of, you know, trying to wrestle these giant pieces around into different shapes up here. Alright, number eight. Oh, and I decided to do the windows separately. So I'm making eight pieces just for a dome with no doors or windows or anything. And then I'm going to make window pieces, stick them on, then then cut the hole out. And then that piece I'll probably use for the end of the window as like a cover. You know, in case of storms or anything. Because that'll be useful to have. If I were straight up mass producing, I'd want to have the windows built into the molds. But since I'm not, you know, I might change things on any particular dome part. I'll just keep the pieces separate. Huh. Well, maybe I'll wait on number eight. Hmm. Okay, back to Sunny. Whoa, that was like over an inch of rain in half an hour. All right, let me do something about this here window situation. All right, well, that's filled with fiberglass. Not that you can tell because it's black on black. Oh, now I have to figure out where to put this dome. The widest spot on this island is right here. And it's plenty wide if you go all the way to the edge of the island, but you know, it goes way down there. So, 18 feet which is the diameter of this dome when I put it together, will come out to like here and go back to maybe a foot past where it starts sloping down. So I just need to flatten out a section up here, put some dirt, you know, in this section here, build it up a little bit. Or, you know, half a day of digging maybe. Or a day and a half. Oh, so I have to move all this stuff out of the way first. What kind of pot? What kind of dome? What are you? Alright. Now if I took one section out, I would end up with Huh. That's kind of cool. If I took two sections out, I would have this. That's pretty cool, too! Oh, this makes some nice shapes. Can you make a crab now? Yeah, if I took three sections out, Even take half the pieces out and then still make a kind of cool thing. This works all the way down to three pieces. That'd still be like seven feet across and uh, no, no, like that's 15 feet around. tall. That's going around. No, no, don't cool. take it off. Just... 
All right, what's, what size do you think it should be? I think what? it should be a tower. Okay, I squish it. Make it, it make it into a tower like you want. I think it should be a dome. So you want me to build you one that's like a dome, and Bellatrix, you want one that's like a tall, skinny tower? Yes. All right. Why do I want mine a dome? Yeah, why? Or a dollhouse. Oh. No, I'm talking about a big one that's like... Well, the dome would be 10 feet tall. Well, and the tower to one would be like, I don't know, 12, 14 feet tall. I don't know how tall it gets. No, I've had hey, is that bucket of kid over there? Having a spherical mold opens a lot of doors in terms of things to make. Thinking of some submarine ideas and some indestructible survival pods. Stuff like that. To make a swimming pool. Underground mega bunkers. Oh. If I do an actual sphere, I could copy my eyeball windows here and make giant retractable <laughs> roof things.